Thinking of buying the Galaxy S25? There's been a lot of talk about Samsung switching memory chip suppliers this year and you might be wondering how that affects you. Let's break it down so you can make an informed decision. Samsung's Galaxy S25 series, known for its innovative features, didn't just move away from the Exynos processors this year. The company also made a temporary change in its memory chip supplier, opting for microelectronics over its own chips. This switch wasn't part of the original plan but became necessary due to some unexpected heating issues. Now Samsung is expected to revert to its own memory chips later in the year. So the question is, should you be worried about this switch? First, let's talk about what remains constant. The Galaxy S25 still uses the LPDDR5X memory standard, but Samsung has made improvements to its manufacturing process, shifting from a 13 nanometer to a 12 nanometer process. This upgrade translates to better efficiency and a more compact chip design. The result, enhanced performance and improved energy consumption for the S25 series. However, during this transition, Samsung encountered heating problems with its own memory chips, prompting a temporary switch to Micron's chips. These heating issues have largely been resolved, and Samsung plans to switch back to its own memory chips for future batches of the Galaxy S25. Reports suggest that Samsung is increasing its chip production to make up for the initial shortfall, which means the Galaxy S25 units manufactured later this year will likely feature Samsung's memory chips again. Now, why did Samsung face these issues in the first place? The year 2024 wasn't smooth sailing for Samsung. Its foundry division dealt with multiple challenges, especially in the yield results of its 3 nanometer chips. The good news is, Samsung claims to have stabilized its 3 nanometer process and is now progressing with even more advanced technologies like 2 nanometer and 1.4 nanometer chips. Although the Galaxy S25 series had to rely on non Samsung chipsets due to these hurdles, there's already buzz about the upcoming Z series debuting the new Exynos 2500. This move signifies a comeback for Samsung's chipset division. So should you be concerned about the Galaxy S25 transitioning back to Samsung's own memory chips? Probably not. The differences between Micron's memory chips and Samsung's own are expected to be so minor that most users won't even notice. Any lingering heating issues are likely to be addressed, ensuring a seamless user experience. Samsung has shown that it can make tough decisions when necessary. The switch from Exynos chipsets was a significant move, and the same rationale applies to memory chips. The performance gap between Galaxy S25 phones using Micron chips and those using Samsung's own will likely be negligible far less pronounced than the differences between Snapdragon and Exynos chipsets in the past. While Samsung might not always be the first to roll out new chip technologies when it does, it delivers quality. The Galaxy S25 is a testament to this, offering a blend of innovation, performance, and reliability. Whether it's using Microvans or Samsung's memory chips, the S25 remains one of the best smartphones available today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you in the next one. Get ready for an exciting journey into the future of smartphones with the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. As leaks and whispers continue to circulate, the buzz around this upcoming flagship device is nothing short of electric. With its official unveiling just around the corner, tech enthusiasts everywhere are eager to see how Samsung plans to outdo itself once again. Let's explore what makes the Galaxy S25 Ultra a contender for the most advanced smartphone of 2025. At the heart of the Galaxy S25 Ultra lies the powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite processor designed to handle the most demanding tasks effortlessly. This processor promises to deliver blazing speed and remarkable efficiency, ensuring that everything from multitasking to gaming runs seamlessly. Alongside this impressive chipset, the display technology is set to captivate users. The Galaxy S25 Ultra features a dynamic, low-temperature polycrystalline oxide AMOLED 2X screen, offering a smooth 120Hz refresh rate, high dynamic range 10 plus compatibility, and a peak brightness of 2600 nits. These features combine to create an incredibly vivid and immersive visual experience, perfect for streaming or gaming. Storage and memory options on the Galaxy S25 Ultra cater to every user's needs. The base model offers a solid 12GB of random access memory and 256GB of internal storage, while the premium version ramps this up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and a hopping one terabyte of storage. This ensures plenty of space for all your apps, media, and files. The design is sleek and refined with dimensions of 162.8 by 77.6 by 8.2 millimeters and a weight of 219 grams, making it lighter and more compact than its predecessor, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. 
Charging is another area where the Galaxy S25 Ultra excels. The device is expected to support 45 watts of wired charging and 25 watts of wireless charging through both Chi 2 and Power Matters Alliance standards. This means quicker charging times and the convenience of keeping your device powered up with minimal downtime. For photography lovers, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to be a game changer. The main camera boasts an impressive 200 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f/1.7, promising breathtakingly detailed photos. Additionally, there's a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3 times optical zoom, a 50 megapixel periscope lens with 5 times optical zoom, and a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with an aperture of f/2.0. On the front, a 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f/2.2 ensures stunning selfies. These features collectively make the Galaxy S25 Ultra a versatile photography tool, ready to capture any moment with clarity and precision. Battery life is robust with a 5,000 mAh battery providing ample power for extended use. The device also supports 4.5 watts of reverse wireless charging, allowing you to charge other compatible devices on the go. The build quality is top-notch, featuring a titanium frame and Corning Gorilla Armor glass for enhanced durability. The device is expected to have an ingress protection rating of IP68, meaning it will offer strong resistance to water and dust, perfect for those who need a phone that can withstand various environments. On the software front, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to launch with Android 15, paired with Samsung's One UI 7. This combination promises a smooth, user-friendly experience with a host of new features and improvements. Samsung's advancements in artificial intelligence are expected to enhance various aspects of the phone from photography to daily usability, making the Galaxy S25 Ultra not just powerful, but smart. As the countdown to its official release continues, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a trailblazer in the smartphone world. With its cutting-edge specs and features, the real test will be how well these translate into everyday use. Could this be the device that sets new benchmarks for what a smartphone can achieve? Only time will tell. Thank you for joining this exploration of the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you found this look into the future exciting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest tech news. See you in the next video. The upcoming iPhone 17 Air is causing quite a stir in the tech world, and it could be the breath of fresh air Apple fans have been waiting for. The mobile industry is in a slump, with innovation struggling to make an impact on regular users. But this year, Apple and Samsung's ambitious plans to revamp their high-end smartphone ranges could help shift the tides, and the iPhone 17 Air is taking center stage. Instead of focusing on the foldables that have become increasingly stale and repetitive, Samsung is reportedly working on adding a new slim model to its Galaxy S lineup. Meanwhile, Apple is hard at work on a new concept, the iPhone 17 Air. The company is foregoing a truly groundbreaking iPhone Fold, which isn't expected until 2026 to bring a fresh design to its iPhone lineup. What makes this particularly exciting is the new pricing rumor that's emerged from South Korea, of all places. It might be hard to believe, but Apple, known for its premium prices, could be offering the iPhone 17 Air at a more reasonable rate than many expected. At one point, rumors had the device priced as high as $1,299, which seemed excessive and a very Apple move. However, the latest report suggests the iPhone 17 Air will be priced similarly to the existing iPhone 16 Plus model, which starts at $899. If this pans out, Apple could have a massive hit on its hands with this more affordable model. For context, the iPhone 16 Plus starts at $899, and it's likely that Apple would keep the iPhone 17 Air around that price point, or at most, push it up to $999. The idea of a thinner, sleeker iPhone with a price tag lower than the iPhone 17 Pro Max is intriguing. But for Apple, keeping the price reasonable while offering a buzzworthy product would require some restraint, something the company isn't always known for. However, even with this promising new direction, it's important to temper expectations. Apple is not one to suddenly change its ways, especially when it comes to pricing and hardware. The iPhone 17 Air may be slim and stylish, but don't expect it to match the power and features of the higher-end models. The design might be sleek, coming in at just over 6 millimeters thick, but this will likely come with some hardware compromises. It's unlikely that the iPhone 17 Air will feature the same cutting-edge processor as the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max, and its cameras will probably be a step down from the premium models as well. Battery life could also be an issue due to the thin design. A smaller battery would limit the overall power, making it a less appealing option for power users. 
This could open the door for Samsung to outshine Apple with its Galaxy S25 Slim, which would offer better battery life and a thicker, more powerful design, all at a similar price point. There's a lot to look forward to, but some major questions still remain. Will Apple be able to balance the sleek design with the necessary performance? Will the pricing be as reasonable as rumored? And how will Samsung respond with its Galaxy S25 Slim? Ultimately, while both the iPhone 17 Air and Galaxy S25 Slim have the potential to be big hits, Apple's rumored approach seems more